The next day, Dad and I run errands past the shuttered shops of Main Street. <coughs> well, kind of me seen better days. Which gives me an idea for another unauthorized experiment. <laughs> this guy's pro-business and against special rights. And here's a gay activist who's wary of economic development. Let's introduce them to Dale Jones, mayor of rural Oklahoma. Well, now we tried everything to save our town. Prison, power plant, toxic waste disposal. Then we came across the research of Dr. Richard Florida. Now, turns out the most prosperous cities in America, the ones with clean industries and low crime rates, all have big homosexual populations. <laughs> so we decided to get ourselves some homosexuals. <laughs> we offered these folks tax breaks, small business loans, and a warm welcome. And guess what? They came. Now, we got a gourmet grocery store and a health spa, and property values are up 30%. Now, 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 I'm just as prejudiced as the next guy. <laughs> But you got to have your priorities. But take it from me. Get your town some homosexual. You get a new lease on life. <laughs> Back in the car with Dad. <clears throat> so, that's the job. What? Oh, uh, you know, I'm thinking about going back and do uh, teaching. Hey, that sounds like you. Dad, will you make sure I'm cremated? I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, but Dad, if something should happen, I said I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. You're a grown man. You got to take care of yourself. <coughs> when I got married, my mama told me we should move away, move far enough away to really get free of your folks. <laughs> But if we moved that far, we wouldn't see much of you. That's okay. <laughs> Things look better from a distance. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't really know me. Now, why does that matter so much? <laughs> Jesus said, love one another. He did not say get to know each other. <laughs> I think there's wisdom in that. <laughs> so you've discussed this. With mother. Oh, now, don't you reckon you and I can talk every so often, just the two of us? <laughs> and I realize that my father has given me all that he has. Certainly more than anyone ever gave him. So, what am I still trying to get? Whose blessing do I really need?